That's it. Yeah, yeah. So, have you a testimony about about the Lord? Cut is deep. Pour out your spirit on a repentant and a watchful brain. How your kingdom is not of this world. Your glory and splendor will not rest on the worldly minded. O Yahshua, you are coming to shake the earth. Your face will cause all to tremble and fear you. Let us seek you before that terrible and dreadful day. Your face shines like the sun sevenfold. I have given them thy word, and the world hated them, because they are not of this world, even as I am not of this world. And the glory which thou hast given me, I will give to them, that they may be one, even as we are. And I have declared unto them thy name, and will declare it, that the love wherewith thou hast loved me, may be in them, and I in them. For the for the for the rural ministry, feeding the poor and the hungry in this church, and some people step up here and get the seat of the one who will show you that the seat is in the poor. And the poor that you show you, the seat that gave us a person on the spot, said this is what I want to do with my money. Is that right? The charismatics. And other, other diverse tongues, as the Bible says. And is it, that's a prayer language, is that right? To connect with God. So can, can you give me an, a, a testimony then about praying in tongues? How, how God uses praying in tongues to do either miracles or give um, knowledge yes, or something? You see that there are many churches where they didn't speak. Mm -hmm. But uh, 
as I have a faith from the beginning. Yes. I know that uh, Jesus said the disciple, the soup which the woman the goes up, they will send them free. And really they were waiting when they mm -hmm. speak to him, you speak in tongues. Okay. And with our power. Okay, so you, so you feel that helps your faith by speaking in tongues because it means that the Holy Spirit will speak to you better. Okay. Because if you are weak in prayers, yes. and you are praying, you start speaking in tongues. Yes. There you don't know, you will not understand what you are saying, but yes. you believe that God has accepted you. Okay. Thanks very much, Irene, for your time today. And may God bless you. Okay, so back to this important stuff. Yes, I'm glad to know. So, what is, what is your best present today? Uh, I think so. My family sent me some package, but I haven't, I haven't received it yet. Okay. Hope, I mean, hopefully next week I will get it. Okay. Well, yes. So, what were you hoping to get? Just some... anything in particular? Or... Uh, I think I'll get something like, wow. like chocolate. Chocolate, oh yeah. Yeah, chocolate. stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, why say hi? Why say anything to your girlfriend? I think she's doing well and uh, <laughs> they have to go and say hi. Okay, yeah. maybe we can send this to you. Remember, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I stopped celebrating that. When I stopped getting cards, I stopped celebrating it. I became a Jew. Yeah, this man, this man still gets Valentine's cards, but he doesn't believe in, in Valentine's Day or Valentine's Day cards or anything like that. Yes, yes. You got one, huh? Yeah. Hey, okay. <laughs> against flesh and blood, against, but against principalities and powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So that is Ephesians 6.12. So over here is a high place in the distance. I'll try and zoom in. It's very misty this morning. My wife had a dream the other day that the whole of Accra in December will be covered like this for a long time, but it's just smog in the morning, the dust and traffic and so on, but we'll see if that comes to pass. But you see a high mast there on that peak of the mountain, so that's a high place, um, geographically speaking. In time 7, seven, seven. hope you're all well. Um, just regards to the um, video about uh, what's happening in America, uh, yes, you know, if you take a look through a bit of my videos, you will be able to see um, a lot of the photographic evidence of what the young lady was speaking about. And that's where from America. Um, people get, um, you know, like such as TV and radio, um, pumped into their living rooms every day. And I must say that um, here in Ghana, the TV and the radio is a lot um, more family friendly than it is. I'm sure in America, or, or as in Britain as well, there are more Christian channels and worship music. People who are walking with God today, and, and they have, some of them have been told to climb mountains and go up and pray. And that's just what Messiah did, of course, in Jerusalem. He, he actually climbed 
the mountains around Jerusalem and up and prayed, and now why did he do this? You know, with God, all things are possible. Bible has already told, that us, preach to us, that when we ask him, our needs, he shall provide, he shall supply, he's our maker, he's the creator of the universe, nothing impossible with him, so we really, really, really have to put our trust in him, for he has done it for me, he has done it for somebody and he's about to do it for you. Put your trust I believe if Christians the really believe this and uh, as fact, that they'd probably do a lot more climbing mountains and praying, just as Yahshua did, just as Jesus Christ did, and just as a few people I've spoken to in this age have.